Hey folks, so I want to do a quick video on some Game Boy Advance cards today. Uh, nothing too spectacular. See here, I got a legitimate copy of Metroid Fusion. Now, real quick tangent, uh, most Game Boy Advance games do not require a battery to save, except for some very early uh, launch games. Um, everything uses either like flash memory or EEPROM or something to save. Uh, but Metroid Fusion happens to be one of the early games that actually does use a battery to save. Now this copy is still working perfectly fine, so I don't need to do anything with this, but of course you know me. Um, I'm gonna fuck with it. Anyway, this particular game, Metroid Fusion, came out in two different versions. One of them uh, with SRAM and a battery, and the other with FRAM and no battery. Um, you can get it in you know, either form. Functionally, they are completely identical. There is zero difference between the game. You, you know, you, you rip the ROM bit for bit, it's identical. So there is zero purpose, you know, no advantage to owning the FRAM version over the SRAM version, except that you don't have to worry about a battery. Um, but like I said, in my case, my game is still perfectly fine. So I really don't have to worry about it. And you can check that, just get a multimeter, put it on volt mode, hook the probes up. Usually you want to hook them up the right way around, but either way you can see my battery still got plenty of charge on it, 3.2 volts. Things practically brand new as far as batteries are concerned, uh, but you know, you look at the date code, you can tell it's, <laughs> it's quite old. Um, if I actually cared about the save on this cart, I wouldn't be removing this right now. But um, this battery has a date code of 2002, which makes it extraordinarily old. I don't care about the save on this because there is a whopping six minutes. And that's it. Okay. Of the three save files, there was only one of them with six minutes in it. Anyway, so. What we're going to do here is I want to see if I can't upgrade this to a batteryless save. Uh, there are a couple different ways we can go about this, but the easiest way, I just so happen to uh, buy a few of these carts. I like these um, Mega Man carts. I don't know, I just like the colors. So I've been buying them because they're like a dollar. And I just so happen to open this one up and notice this is the FRAM copy. Um, compared to, this is Mega Man 4 or whatever, uh, and this is also Mega Man 4, but the red version, this one happens to be an SRAM copy, so I can't do much with this. The battery in this one is, of course, dead, but whatever. Uh, but this one is the FRAM copy, so what I'm going to do is see if I can't get this FRAM with this ROM cart. Now, for full functionality, all we need to do is swap the FRAM for SRAM and then just not put a battery back on here. But instead of doing that, I'm going to swap the uh, ROM carts or the ROM chips over so that I can put the Mega Man game on this PCB and then solder the battery back on and still have a working Mega Man game. Whereas if I just swap the FRAM for the SRAM, um, only one copy would work just fine because I can't add a battery to this PCB. I also did look this up and the S or the F RAM copies of um, Metroid Fusion do use this AGB E11 PCB. So I know everything should be perfectly compatible. I just need to pop these two S RAM chips or mask ROM chips off and swap them. Uh, if you don't have Mega Man, there are quite a few other games that use this exact same PCB. I happen to notice my WarioWare Inc. game uses that PCB. Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland also uses that PCB. Uh, but not, oop, that's Metro. Uh, but this Mega Man 5 game looks like it uses a different PCB. This might be compatible, but I'm not 100% sure because this is Y11, even though it still has an FRAM chip. If nothing else, you can still pull the FRAM chip. That should be fine. Um, stuff like 
Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, though, this uses a uh, flash save instead of Ephraim, so you wouldn't be able to do anything with this. If you swapped the Mask ROM from this board to this board, it would likely still boot just fine, but it would have no idea how to interface with that save chip. So it wouldn't work. Also, that save chip is like twice as big as it needs to be. Uh, I don't have any other games for reference, so let's go ahead and let's try this out, shall we? So to swap this, I'm you of course got to remove your battery because this will explode if you try and heat gun it. But I'm going to use my uh, overpowered hair dryer here, just a 1500 watt heat gun, and I've got the silicone pad and then this metal plate under it just to make sure I don't damage anything on my desk. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to run this and uh, we'll try it that way. But before I start it, my cat is trying to get on my desk. So I'm glad I didn't run that. I will pause for just a moment and make sure he doesn't get hurt. Okay, the cat has been evicted. We're good to go. I'm going to start with the um, Mega Man board here. I'm just going to use... Uh, we'll use high heat, why not? Circle it around, make sure I'm not leaving it in one spot. I'm sorry if the camera goes out of focus, not a whole lot I can do about that. Tweezers are less than ideal for this. Okay, so that's the first one off. There's a heat bubble underneath my uh, pad here. Which means it's probably getting too hot underneath there. I mean, to the touch, it barely feels warm, so it must just be the silicone itself. I guess I'll put something under there so the air can escape. Hmm. That doesn't help much. Okay, I'll set that aside. Set that aside. Move on to the next one. holding heat gun quite a bit closer. Okay, done with the heat gun. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break, let this stuff cool down so I can touch it and so I don't have to keep dealing with this bubble. Back in it, Jeff. Right, everything has cooled down. I have removed my metal plate just because I like having a flat surface, but this is just a piece of stamped steel. Um, it's from my 3D printer, but I don't need it anymore because I upgraded to a thicker, more sturdy plate. But that's besides the point. So now I need to attach this chip, the Metroid Fusion chip, which you can tell because this has AMTE engraved on it, to the FRAM board and this chip, the Mega Man chip, which is B4BJ, to the SRAM board. I'm going to solder the SRAM board first, just because 
I haven't done one of these in a while, and I don't know, maybe it'll be easier if I warm up on a game I care less about. Not that I don't care about it, just that I care less. Anyway, i uh, just going to slather a bunch of flux on here. This is probably not the best stuff for the job, but it's what I got, so it's what I'm using. Using this Qualitec paste flux. Not my favorite stuff. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to wash off. But it does work great. Look at that. Oh, before I set that down, I'm going to flatten these out. Why don't I zoom in a little? That way you can see better. At the cost of my comfort. Oh man, I didn't even solder it down. Thought it did. Oh well. Soldered at that time. Okay. Smaller tip would help here. On account of that capacitor being right there. But I think we're going to be okay. Same on this side. Cool, that went easy, and I got flux all over my finger. I'm gonna have to clean this board off. All right, try this one. Set my iron down before I hurt myself. Could use more flux on that, but it's going to melt and spread around once I do this anyway. And the reason I'm flattening that out really uh, is because when I desoldered the chip, I didn't use any flux, which I should have, but I didn't. So it left some pretty sharp corners. Ah, oh, shoot, it's crooked. Okay. I think it's crooked again. Oh, no, it's much better this time.
Okay. Got a bridge on there. Between two pins. There we go. I just want to make double sure that everything is soldered. There's no bridges. And I think we're good to go. So realistically what I should do is clean all this up since I can't even handle it without getting flux everywhere. But before I do that, we're going to test it out. And I'm going to grab this game boy. Just double check that it boots. And indeed it does. So let me go get this cleaned up before I do anything else with it. We'll, we'll test the Mega Man one too, just in case. Ooh, that's not good. There it goes. Probably just flux on the pins or something. <laughs> Which means now I have to clean this Game Boy. Wonderful. But yeah, that boots too. Okay, so I'm gonna pause again. Um, go clean all this flux up. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, I am going to, since I know that this game boots, I'm going to spend a few minutes and play it so I can get to the save spot. And um, I'll report back in just a minute. All right, so I went ahead and soldered the battery back onto uh, the Mega Man game. And I've got everything cleaned up. And it still boots, but I'm not really going to do any testing beyond that on this game because... Quite frankly, I just don't really care that much at this moment. Um, if it boots, that's good enough for me. But I, I mean, the game's in Japanese. I don't. I'd have a hard time testing it beyond booting anyway. Um, however, if you couldn't hear. I've got Fusion running, and I did make it to a save station here. And you'll have to forgive me. Uh, skipping most of, well, pretty much everything, but this game does have a pretty long intro, and I figured I'd spare you guys the uh, embarrassment of me trying to play through Fusion, but as you can tell, there's no battery in there. This is the uh, FRAM cart that I just made, and yes, I did clean it up. There's no more flux residue on any of it, but that's besides the point. Let's see how... how how it works. And there we go, there's my save. Start that. And what do you know, I'm exactly where I left off. So there we go. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and play this now. My uh, my new fusion game. New. This is an old game that I've had for a very long time. I'm genuinely surprised that the battery was still in such good shape. But uh, just gonna pop the screw back in. Bob Jaunty. Thanks for watching, guys. No cats were harmed in the making of this video, except maybe their pride. That's okay. I made sure to give him some treats and some pets too.